Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide and we are on July 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. That's right, July 2nd, 2021. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody across BC today as we have over 62 fires that have erupted across the province. And looking at satellite imagery here, you can see some thunderstorms developed amongst all of the pyrocumulonimbus clouds that were towering across western BC. And it, you can see it here, satellite imagery, that massive heat dome spinning counterclockwise across western Canada right now. Many fires across Alberta, northern BC, and as well Saskatchewan, which I reported last night. So this is a dire situation and almost a state of emergency for the province of British Columbia. Canadian Army Reserves have already been call in, called in. Many people are missing, having to flee these fires quickly. One, two, three, four fires just there in the areas surrounding Lytton. British Columbia. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. I know there are many that might be homeless tonight. And I know many are looking for loved ones. So prayers for humanity during this crisis. British Columbia, Canada. Looking satellite imagery, you can see the, val the valleys filled with smoke. And as well, moving through Alberta and Saskatchewan, a lot of this wildfire smoke. Heat conditions are set to continue until tomorrow. Our last major really warm day. But things are going to intensify here in northern BC and northern Alberta over the next couple days. Many lightning strikes popping up through BC. They were reporting 29,000 lightning strikes. But this is very bad air quality for most of northern Alberta right now. And it looks like Edmonton is going to be inundated by all this wildfire smoke from Saskatchewan pretty soon. That big heat dome spinning counterclockwise. So fires west of Edmonton into Grand Prairie. And as well, northern BC here. And there's not much moisture in the forecast here coming up. Defense Minister of British Columbia is already addressing the situation to the United Nations. We also have a situation that is developing through California with the fires beside. Mount Shasta. Now that phone, that fire grew considerably as well, but observing some very high clouds here in the last image. Check this out from the fire in Weed, California, right beside Mount Shasta. Watch for that tall, stretched cloud towering cumulonimbus, or is it an eruption? Is it? I don't know. We need to find this out. They're going to call a climate emergency on the planet here really, really soon. And we might see more of these kind of situations just all of a sudden pop up. Looking here at the College of DuPage, satellite and radar imagery, as you can see, those fires at Mount Shasta and just south of there, California, are still going strong. Looking at the lightning strikes here, the last 24 hours, as you can see, over 29,000 across the province. But these are all the lightning strikes from yesterday. And down to the right there, those bottom ones there, that's from the fires. But there were none through Lytton. There were no lightning strikes through Lytton. They're still trying to figure out what sparked it. What sparked the Sparks fire as well? Why is it called Sparks Lake? Very interesting indeed. Now let's, let's just have a look here at Lytton 
BC, the town of Lytton. And this is what it looks like now. And I'm sure there will be some devastating images coming out today across social media and across the world. As British Columbia is on the verge of a state of emergency right now. So right off the Fraser River, meeting with the Thompson River, Lytton, B.C. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by this devastating and very dangerous fire and fire season. And it's early in the fire season for all of the multiple fires being reported. So please, heads up. Our global electric current has dramatically been amplified. And especially across North America. Just look at this the last 24 hours. I mean, if you're looking at 29,000 just through BC, we're probably looking at about a quarter million lightning strikes just across North America and Central America the last 24 hours. So something has changed dramatically in our magnetic field, and it is evident in our atmosphere. It is evident in the skies. And our planet is releasing a lot of pressure. And I do believe this has a lot to do with our sun. Let's just have a look at our forecast here for the next five days across Western Canada. We do have some extreme weather moving into Calgary and South Central Alberta and then moving eastward through Saskatchewan, Manitoba. But definitely we will be seeing some, some extreme weather this week. So definitely prime for storm ch chasing here in Calgary. And this is what, of course, Meteo Mike from Morning Dew loves to see. So very warm temperatures tomorrow. And then scooting in as the low pressure comes in, cooling off. And then moving eastward. And, we can, and then a little bit of relief coming here for BC. Some low pressure systems shooting in from Alaska. Again, thoughts and prayers to everybody affected. Much love for humanity. Thanks for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye.